Hi everyone, my name is Brain, and today I want to talk to you about something very important. It's about not giving up. Yes, never giving up. Life is like a big, long journey. Sometimes it is easy, sometimes it is hard. We all have dreams, we all have goals, but sometimes we face problems. We feel tired, we feel sad, and we think, I can't do this. But you must remember, never give up. When you were a baby, you wanted to walk. Did you fall? Yes, many times. But did you stop trying? No, you kept trying until you walked. This is the same with your dreams and goals. You must keep trying. Think of a tree. When you plant a seed, do you see a tree the next day? No, it takes time. You water it, you give it sunlight. Slowly it grows. Your dreams are like that seed. They need time, they need effort, and they need patience. Do not stop watering your dreams. Do not stop giving them light. Sometimes you will fail. That is okay. Failure is not the end. It is a lesson. Think of a scientist. When a scientist tries an experiment and it fails, do they stop? No. They learn from it and try again. You must be like that scientist. Learn from your mistakes. Think of all the great people in history. Did they give up? No, they faced many problems, but they kept going. You can be like them. You can achieve great things if you never give up. Thomas Edison was a great inventor. He invented the light bulb, but did you know he failed many times before he succeeded? He tried over 1,000 times before he made the light bulb work. Can you imagine that? Over 1,000 times. Most people would give up after a few tries, but not Edison. He kept going. He believed in his dream. He learned from his mistakes and finally succeeded. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players, said, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So when you feel like giving up, think of your favorite athlete. Remember their hard work, their failures, and their success. You can be like them if you never give up. J.K. Rowling, do you know her? She is the author of the Harry Potter books. These books are loved by millions of people around the world. But did you know she faced many rejections before her books were published? She was a single mother. She had very little money. She wrote her first Harry Potter book in cafes. She sent her book to many publishers. They all said no. But she did not give up. She believed in her story. She kept trying. Finally, one publisher said yes, and today her books are famous. They have made her very successful. What if she had given up? We would not have Harry Potter today. So remember J.K. Rowling when you face rejection. It is not the end. Keep trying. Believe in your dream. Let's talk about you now. Yes, you. You have dreams. You have goals. Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Or maybe you want to be an artist. Whatever your dream is, it is possible. But you must work hard you must face challenges. Let me tell you about a man named Nick Vujicic. Nick was born without arms and legs. Can you imagine that? It must be very hard, but Nick did not give up. He learned to do many things. He can swim, he can type, he can even surf. He travels around the world to give speeches. He inspires people with his story. He shows them that anything is possible if you never give up. Nick says, if I fail, I try again and again and again. 
If you fail, are you going to try again? The human spirit can handle much worse than we realize. It matters how you are going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? So when you face a big challenge, think of Nick. If he can do it, so can you. Sometimes we need help. That is okay. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Your family, your friends, your teachers, they are there to help you. They want to see you succeed. Do not feel shy. Do not feel weak. Asking for help is a strength. It shows that you are serious about your dreams. It shows that you are willing to learn. So if you need help, ask for it. Let's talk about the power of words. Words are very powerful. They can lift you up and they can bring you down. When you are learning English, the words you use are especially important. Be careful with your words and choose them wisely. First, let's think about positive words. Positive words can give you strength. They can keep you motivated. When you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I can learn English. Say, I will try again today. Say, I will never give up. These positive words will help you feel strong. They will give you energy to keep going. Positive words can also help you when you face challenges. Maybe you find a word you do not understand. Instead of saying, this is too hard, Wayne, say, one, I can learn this word. Instead of saying, I will never get it, say, I will keep trying. Positive words change the way you think. They make you believe in yourself. They make you feel that you can achieve your goals. Now let's talk about negative words. Negative words are not good for you. They can make you feel weak. They can make you want to give up. When you say, I can't learn English, you are telling your brain to stop trying. When you say, it's too hard, you are making it harder for yourself. Negative words create a barrier in your mind. They stop you from reaching your goals. Avoid using negative words. Instead of saying, I'm bad at English, say, I'm learning English. Instead of saying, I always make mistakes, say, mistakes help me learn. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. Mistakes are part of learning. They are not something to be afraid of. They are something to learn from. Speak words of encouragement. Believe in yourself. Believe in your ability to learn. You are on a journey. It may be long. It may be hard. But with positive words and a positive attitude, you will reach your goal. Never give up. You can do it. Now I want to ask you, do you have trouble remembering English vocabulary? Do you study for hours but then forget everything? If so, you can't miss the next video about five tips to remember English vocabulary. Click here to watch it.